Good day and welcome to another Mr. James Accounting Tutorial. Today we will be looking at the Accounting Unit 2, Paper 2, 2006 Module 2. This is a problem that was requested by a student. Can't recall her name at the moment, but here is the solution or a solution these problems can have more than one solution okay let's get right into it we have here before us question 2 module 2 and the first thing we'll do is read what is required down here there are three parts to the question the first part is determine an activity rate for each activity. So it's an ABC cost in question. Calculate the total overhead cost assigned to each product in the cotton department using the rates computed in part one. So the rates that we compute here, we're going to use them in part two and part three determine the activity overhead cost for each product in the cotton department so we want the unit cost yeah. okay well, let's see what the data says kingston industries manufactures two types of computerized scoreboard custom and standard each of which involves three manufacturing processes namely cutting assembling and packaging the company uses an activity based costing system to allocate its overhead cost to the manufacturing process okay so um it's using the abc only for the overhead not for the raw materials or the labor and using the abc system the company has four overhead activities production, setup, procurement, quality control, and materials management. In each production department, as an, an activity analysis of the overhead related to the cotton department reveal the following, and we are given two tables here. One with the activities, and two the cost pools, how much was accumulated in a cost pool for each activity okay then we are given the cost driver or the base here that we have to use to calculate the activity rate okay here we are given the total activities at the bottom and the bottom line and then we are given each one for each product right now in order to calculate the activity rates what we have to do is take the activity from here the total cost overhead cost and divide it by the total of the cost driver or the activity base okay to get the unit cost after we allocate them to the two different units we need to divide it by the unit here all right so that is what we will be doing so we have here the uh, first we look at setups and we have here the total overhead cost for setups and uh, this is total for setup and we divide it to we get the 90 dollars per setup that is the activity rate this is the rate we'll be charging to each product for uh, a setup and then we have purchasing we take the total of the purchasing overhead and divide it by the activity base here the total we get 130 per order do the same thing for inspection and we get 70 dollars per inspection materials we get 150 divided by 400 equal 375 per component okay so the materials management is 375 per component 
inspection, 70 per inspection, purchasing 130 per order, and setups $90 per order. Part 2 We simply put our results into a table and multiply them out. Now, in cost and management accounting, there's no set format for your table. And you can uh, easily put this the other way around as well. Okay? So, um, I like to do it this way with the activity in one column and the workings in the middle and the two overhead costs in the columns here. So, we begin in with setup. We had 480 in total. We have 400 here, 80 here. With purchasing, you had 1,200. 1,000 is here and 200 is here for standard, right? So, the same thing applies for the inspecting and the materials management, right? The total is split between the two components, sorry, the two product, and we just multiply them by the rate that we calculated. Okay, so 400 by 90 gives us 36,000, and 80 by 90 gives us 72,000. When we add these two together back, we should get back the same as the total overhead for the activity. So, okay, so if we add these two, we will get 43,200 that we had in the table in the data given. That's one way of checking to see if you're correct. All right, purchasing, we do the same thing. Multiply by 130 this time, we get 130,000. 200 by 130, 26,000. The same with the inspecting and the materials management. And then when we finish all of them, we add them down this way. We get the total overhead for each product here. Now part three asks for the unit overhead course. We take the total sum here and we divide it by the 5,000 units that we had in the data. So this will be 18,500 divided by 5,000 give us $83.70 per unit. Okay, so each one of the 5,000 units here would be charged with $83.70 in overhead. Similarly, with standard, we take the 105,700 total that we got here, divided by 5,000. Now, it's just coincidence that these two have the same amount. You could have different amounts here, right? And we divide it by the 5,000, we'll get 21.14, so $21.14 per unit. Okay, so the overhead charge for the standard will be $21.14. Welcome to part two. The key to this question is this part here. In arriving at the conversion course, the company adds the overhead course calculated at two above. So it's taken the answer or the, the total overhead cost from the previous part and adding it to the labor cost to get the from this to get the uh, conversion cost for this part okay and that is only being done for one product okay having said that let's see what they require us prepare a process cost and worksheet for the cutting department of Kingston Industries for the current period using the weighted average process costing method. And okay, so they want process costing in this part. The previous part was activity based costing. 
So you can have one company using two different types of costing product. Um, so costing system for one product. Okay. The cutting department at Kingston Industries uses a process costing system to record the cost of processing its product. Currently, only the customs computerized scoreboard is made in this department. So one of the scoreboard in arriving at the conversion cost, the company adds the overhead cost calculated at two above and the direct labor cost incurred in the department. The cutting department provided the following information relating to the custom cons computerized scoreboard for the current period so it's for one period working process start at the beginning of the period 1500 units 35 percent completed and we have given the break given the breaking breakdown of the um, course of the working process 131,600 and then we are given a current course for the current period that the materials and the labor notice we are not given the factory overhead but we had to take it from the activity based costs that we just did so uh, we have some further information the unit starts started in the period is 4800 and the ending working process 30 percent completed 1000 okay the cotton department uses the weighted average process custom method and all direct materials are added at the beginning of the production while conversion activity occurs uniformly throughout the production process so what this is telling you is that the all of the uh, materials going at the beginning of the process so the cost is added at that point in time so um, our 100 percent of materials have already been added here to the working process here and 35 percent is for the direct labor on the factory overhead okay now there is no set format for work, a process cost in a worksheet as with any other worksheet in a cost and management accounting so we can use a format similar to this if, if we feel comfortable to it with it or you can even adjust it to suit yourself and or come up with your own format right first of course you must have the heading uh, we were not given any dates so you don't see any dates on this one here and uh, you always should include this part in it the units to account for the physical units this is not equivalent units, this is the whole units. The opening working process had 1500 and they added during the year 4800. So the total units you have to account for is 6300. Then you show how you are accounting for it. The amount completed during the period is 1500, 5300, and the closing work process is 1000. So you have a total of 63 now this figure 53 was not given in the data you get it by taking the total here and minus in the closing working process here that's how you know how many units were completed and what you have done there when you do these two part is accounted for all of your units in the process i suggest the students that they always do this you always account for the units before you jump into the equivalent units okay now the units that was completed during the 
PVR would be 100% complete. So there will be whole units. Notice I have put the whole figure in here. And the closing working process of 1000. Remember the question said all of the materials went in at the beginning. So as far as materials is concerned, it's 100% completed. And uh, the closing working process is 30% complete from conversion. And so we have 30 by a thousand, that should be 30% by a thousand here, would give us 300. Okay, when we add them down, we'll get the equivalent units. Right, now we can do it this way because this is, we're using the average cost method. In average cost, you lump all the units together and you, um, divided by the number of units that's average course but if we are doing FIFO we would have to distinguish in this line here the completed during the period we have to distinguish which one came from the open book and put us here 1500 and uh, what was came from the 4800 here all right but since we are using AVCO, we will just lump all the 5300 together and um, we can find the equivalent units. Okay, once we get the equivalents, we start on the course. We have the opening working process. Note if we just take all of it and we're going to add it to the current period because we are finding an average. And we got the total course. Right now, here is what we were talking about. This 418500 comes from the previous part of the question. That is for custom only. Right? Because this whole worksheet is about the custom, not the standard. And we added it to the labor course to get the conversion course of 538-500 okay at this point some student didn't know what to do because it's the, this is the part that goes away from your normal straightforward question this is where you are bringing in some figures from the ABC into the ABC costing into the process costing so all you wouldn't get this in all questions only where you have um, two costing systems that that work okay so we add on the the labor uh, for the period and the overhead we get it from the other questions at a, a note at the bottom here the amount 418 is taken from part e as instructed in the question so you can go back to your answer for party and see if that is the correct figure and uh, then we add them up and we get the total cost and the cost per equivalent unit would be the the total cost here divided by the equivalent unit here and we get 55.16 and that's the hard part is already done we just need to reconcile this cost here now by breaking it down into the completed units and the closing working process okay so once we have these figures it's easy to work out we know it's 53 by 55 from here for the materials 5300 by 55 plus 5300 by 106 that we got here we add them together we will get this figure here this is the total cost of the completed units we also have some working process the, the these units here it will be 1000 by 55 the same figure here plus the 300 by 106 and we add them together and we should come back to this figure here in some questions you may come across when you work out here 
it remains the same thing as here because of rounding. Uh, students need to be careful about rounding figures. When you have round figures, if you are dealing with thousands of units, um, your figure, final figure, can be as much as five hundred dollars off the mark. Okay, if you are working in thousands, as here, if you are working in millions, you can be up to five hundred thousand off the mark. Okay, so you need to have to be mindful of that in these type of question so that brings us to the end of this uh, question hope you find it edifying and if so you can leave a comment in the box on the, underneath if you don't understand you can still do so as well. well i will see if i can add some other explanations for you okay enjoy the rest of your day